Um, so your name and age? My name is Steven Grella. I'm uh, 31 years old. How being in law enforcement affected the family? Um, so I was dating my girlfriend before uh, I became a police officer. So it was a little bit of a, a change for her, especially working nights. Um, yeah. It does affect her. Um, we've since gotten married, so she's used to it by now, having been on the force for seven years. But it definitely is a, is a change, you know. It's midnight, and I get called in to, to work, and she's got to just, you know, accept that I have to leave. So it's a really a 24-7 job. Yeah. How many years in the career? Uh, seven. Why did you go into the career? Uh, my dad was a detective for 27 years in uh, the police department that I worked for. So it's kind of always something uh, in the back of my mind. Uh, out of college, I had a desk job in finance, you know, kind of nine to five every day inside. And uh, it really wasn't for me. I wanted to be outside working with the community, making a difference. So uh, I took the test. A couple of years later, got the phone call, and I was like, absolutely. Position you hold? Uh, police officer. Patrolman. Responsibilities you have? Uh, main responsibilities would be um, to patrol the city, uh, look for... Uh, mostly vehicle offenders doing things in their vehicle, um, responding to emergency calls, domestic situations, um, sick, sick or injured people, uh, things like that. Type of training needed for the position? I went through the Suffolk County Police Academy. It was a seven-month training. Um, Varying from defensive tactics, DWI enforcement, uh, a month of EMT training, uh, so I'm a certified EMT as well. Um, I've also been through uh, advanced roadside drug interdiction, interdiction course uh, to detect drug drivers, um, radar courses for radar and LIDAR for speeding vehicles, as well as uh, I am a certified field training officer, so for the new officers that come on, uh, come on the job, uh, I'm the first point of contact for them uh, as far as training a new officer. The education you need to have, and what education do you have? So for our department, uh, it's pretty rare. We actually do require a uh, four-year degree. Um, so I am a graduate of the University of Maryland, uh, Bachelor of Science in uh, Economics. What is the testing process like? Uh, the testing process, first thing you have to do is you have to take a 90 question standardized type test. It's a multiple choice test. Um, with different portions on it. The first 10 questions was a memorization portion where they give you a passage to read, and then uh, they take that passage away and you have to answer 10 questions off of that. And then um, the other 80 some odd questions were basically an English-based SAT, reading comprehension, things like that. Um, once you take the test, there are um, physical tests that you have to take as well as background tests. Um, health tests uh, in order to be considered an applicant uh, for the position. The best thing about the career? Say that again? Best thing about the career? Best thing about the career is being able to help so many people. Um, you know, you can't really put a number on the uh, amount of lives that you've changed or saved, but you kind of just have to know that you're making a difference out there, whether it's getting a uh, a drunk driver off the road, helping someone that's um, hurt, sick, lost, uh, you know, a lost child, you bring them back to their parents. It's just a very rewarding 
part of the job being able to to help people. Worst thing about the career? Um, I think the negative stigmatism against police officers right now. Um, there's a lot of hatred towards us, and it is not easy for the police officer, or more so my family. You know, my my wife doesn't understand all the negative talk, and she has to go to work and not tell people that her husband's a police officer just because we might think that someone will look at us differently. So that's just in the last few years, but it's it's not going in a good direction. And, uh, you know, part of what I'm doing out here is, is trying to change that negative stigmatism. Why do you think people will hate them? Why do I think that? Yeah. Um, to be honest, there's probably... It's, it's a mixture of two things. There's definitely a very, very small percentage of bad eggs. I, I mean, I'm not going to uh, beat around the bush at the reality that there probably are some bad officers. There might be some racist officers. But they get portrayed in the media and by certain groups as being the majority, whereas it's the 0.1%. You know, you have bad people in every, in, in every profession. And between social media and the internet and, you know, TV media themselves, it's get, it gets blown way out of proportion. Uh, and I think that we are painted in a very unfair light. Yeah. How long until you got hired? How many other departments did you apply to? I applied to three departments. I took uh, three tests. Um, this was the first and only call I got. How long did it take until you got hired? From like, when you first from the, applied? From the day I took the test to the day I got hired was a little over two years. What do you think of the criminal justice system? <sighs> um... I think it varies based on the municipality that you work for. I think that it varies all the way down to the judge you get. Um, judges have different styles. I think overall we have a very fair and just system. Um, obviously certain cases fall through the cracks. Uh, certain judges and municipalities are better than others, but I think overall uh, the justice system is is good. What was your favorite thing about the academy? Favorite thing about what? The academy. The academy? Huh. Favorite thing about the academy was probably firearms training, uh, especially nighttime firearms training. Um, very cool experience. Hadn't really shot a weapon too often before the academy, um, and that was... Um, just a really exciting experience. Worst thing about the academy? <laughs> oh boy, the worst thing was sitting through lectures, especially on things that you felt you already knew about. Got a little repetitive, seven months is a long time, so sitting through lectures every day was kind of long and monotonous. Yeah, I'm learning about handcuffing right now. It's like a 20-step process. I'm like, just handcuffing. Yeah. That's the way you go, yeah. What are your tips for anyone going into criminal justice law enforcement? Read. Never stop reading. It is the most important thing. Reading comprehension is so important. Um, people who read a lot, um, it doesn't even have, it can be in anything you are interested in. Just people leave school and then they kind of lose that skill I'm I didn't like school when I was in it but I am a big proponent of continued education in any way shape or form I love to read now and um, yeah that's huge that's that's really the only way that you can prepare for this test is just continue to read and expand your knowledge base Obviously, you have to stay. You have to stay in shape as well. You know, you got to be physically fit. But fastest car have pulled over. 
Say that again? Fastest car you pulled over? Fastest car I pulled over was a uh, BMW um, i8. You know how fast it was going? Um, approximately, I would estimate they were going probably 140 miles an hour. What did your friends think of it when you started? Um, some of them were surprised. Some of them were shocked. Um, they definitely all were happy for me. There was really no... Seven years ago, things were a little different. Things, things were a little better. Um, I don't know how people would feel right now, but when I got on the job, they were they were very excited for me. Why did you choose your department? Was there one department that you really wanted? Um, this definitely was the department that I wanted. Um, my family is from the area. It's a uh, it's a great community. Um, this is yeah. This is really the department I always wanted because this is where my family grew up. Favorite thing to enforce? Uh, I'm a big uh, uh, DUI officer. I'm um, into the uh, alcohol enforcement. How many crimes happen while you're on duty? In a given night or in a year? What's the what's the time frame you think? A day, like from on. Um, to I'd say we average. I mean, we average more than arrest an arrest a day, and that's only for crimes that are caught. So, you know, it's easily, you know, two or three times a day that a, that a crime is committed, uh, and that would be like a misdemeanor or a felony level. If you can, you know, small violations and petty crimes, it could be even more than that. Craziest thing you have seen on duty? Um, I pulled a guy over for blowing a red light, and when I got up to the car, he pushed the door out on me and took off running. Um, he ended up being intoxicated and had a suspended license, so he didn't want to uh, get arrested that day. Uh, this was all on Christmas morning, too which added to it. So I got into a foot pursuit with him. He jumped over a fence. We had to chase him into a, a locked car lot. And, uh, yeah, that was a pretty pretty exciting moment. What was it like seeing all the Dubai super police cars? Oh, it was pretty amazing. Um, they were really really welcomed me with, with open arms when they, you know, found out that I was a police officer. I contacted them. Um, they they showed me the fleet. And uh, Dubai is just an amazing city. They are really good people there. So it was kind of surreal seeing those types of cars as police cars. It was a very cool experience. What's the pay like where you're at? Um, we are in a pretty uh, affluent area, um, so our salary has to reflect that so that we can sort of live where we are. It's about a $40,000 starting salary, and uh, the top pay goes up to about 150000 Yeah, I think forty-five is what our county starts at. I don't know about the city. Okay. I yeah, so they, they start us out low, but we, we move up pretty fairly quickly. I think the trooper said you can, like, after, like, 25 years, like, 125,000 or, like, after 20 years. Right. After that, you're tired of so. so. Yeah, no, I mean, with, with overtime and things like that, you can you can make more. But, um, you know, if you made any less, you couldn't live in this area. We live in a very affluent community, so, um, you know... If the the salaries kind of have to reflect that. Yeah, kind of like San Francisco, three thousand a month. Around. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's million dollar houses around here. I have I have a, you know, small small house is is a half a million dollars here. If I made 
sixty thousand dollars a year. Hundred fifty. What's that? To probably three hundred thousand. For the houses? Yeah, probably most of them. Around yeah, I mean that's place. that's reasonable. That's great. I mean, but for us, you, you live in a shack. It's five hundred thousand. So, uh, you know, if I was making sixty thousand dollars a year, I'd have to probably drive at least an hour to an hour and a half every day just to get to work. So.